Do you want to add a quiz or a test to your Articulate Storyline project? Keep watching, because in this video I will explain step by step how you can create tests and quizzes with question banks in your Articulate Storyline projects. Hey, I'm Mark from Upward Online Learning, where I teach you how you can create learning modules in Articulate Storyline yourself. And are you new here? Don't forget to click the subscribe button so you don't miss a video. Ready? Let's go to work. If you have an e-learning project and you want to insert a quiz or a test with questions that are presented in a random order or where questions are shown from a pool of questions, for this you can use question bank functionality in Articulate Storyline 360, but also in Storyline 3, 2 and in Storyline 1. To set up question banks in Articulate Storyline, you can click on the question banks functionality on your home tab in your story view. And when you are in your slide view, you can click on the slides tab and choose for the question banks option. Now you'll see several options in the drop down menu on the question banks. I want to create a new question bank, so I'll choose create question bank. Uh, and now I can create my new question bank. I give it a, a clear and descriptive name, for instance, end quiz, and I'll click OK. And now you see that Storyline uh, creates an empty question bank. Now I have an empty question bank where I can add questions that I can uh, use later on in my project in different places. It's possible to create multiple tests or quizzes from the questions from one question bank. A storyline file can contain multiple question banks and you can create these in the same way as we created the first question bank. And despite the name question bank suggests, you can also add normal uh, non-question slides to a question bank. To add questions to a question bank, there are two options in Articulate Storyline. The first option is to create the questions directly in the question bank. And we can do this by clicking the links a graded or a survey and then Articulate Storyline opens the insert slide window where we can choose which question type we want to insert in the, into the question bank. For instance, here uh, a true false question and you see that uh, Articulate Storyline inserted a true false question in our, in our question bank. The second option to insert questions into your question bank is to import questions that are already into the Storyline project into your question bank. And to do this, that can be done in two different ways. You can click on the import link in an empty question bank or click on import questions if there are any questions in your question banks already. Now I can choose to copy or move questions from uh, scenes in my project or from other question banks uh, to the new question bank. I have the possibility to only copy the questions into the new question bank or to move them completely from um, my scenes or other question banks to the new question bank. And here I can check for each scene in my slide whether I want to add all the questions or uh, only specific questions. Now I already have a number of questions in my module and I'll choose to copy, the, copy them into the new created question bank from this scene. So I'll here say include all and click on OK. So now I'll keep my uh, original questions in my project and Articulate Storyline copies the new question of the questions into this new question bank. Now that I've imported the questions in my question bank, I can use them somewhere in my project. And to do this, I click on the uh, Story View tab and choose a place in my project where I want to use the questions. Now I have a, a scene named Quiz and I, here I want to add my questions. So I click the Quiz scene and now I'll go to the Question Banks option on my Home tab and choose for a new draw from Question Bank. Now here I can choose the Question Bank where I want to draw the questions from. So this will be the question bank that we've just created. I want to uh, draw all the questions and click on insert. And now Storyline adds a placeholder icon, a slide with a draw from question bank icon. On this draw, I can uh, set a number of options. For instance, how many questions has to be, have to be shown in this draw. 
and now uh, double click the placeholder slide and the draw questions from bank window opens you now can here see uh, which question bank the, uh, the questions are displayed from and in this case this is the question bank that we've just created and by default the draw questions randomly is uh, active and this means that the questions are shown in a random order if you do not want this you can uh, check this off and you can also uh, in see if you want to include all questions or for instance uh, a selections of a selection of the questions in your question bank we can also indicate for each question how it should be displayed in the shuffle randomly uh, never or always if you choose always it it will me uh, mean that the question always uh, has to be drawn in a test or quiz and if you want to exclude your question in your test you choose never the question is um, still in the question bank but won't be used in this specific test or quiz there's also the option to lock questions in a question bank uh, on a specific place for instance if you uh, want a specific question that always has to be drawn as a first uh, question in the quiz to do this i select the question and click uh, on lock question and choose a top of group and you see uh, the question is moved to the top of the group and has have a, has a lock icon uh, in front of it but storyline um, it gives also uh, the option to lock questions to each other uh, for instance for questions that has always to be drawn in a specific combination uh, and to do this i uh, select the question and again i choose for a lock question and i can choose for uh, uh, to lock the question to the question above or to the question below now, i choose for the question below and you see that there is a lock icon uh, for question three and four and this means that these two questions will be always uh, drawn uh, together into uh, the test or quiz in articulate storyline if i want to manage existing question banks in my project i can click on um, the question banks option here on my home tab in the story view or if i go to my slide view i can click on slides and choose question banks and here i can choose for manage question banks now here i have the option to create a new question bank uh, modify existing question banks copy a, a selected question banks to a new question bank uh, rename the selected question bank or remove a, a question bank that that's no longer needed in this project now here we are at the end of this video now we know how you can add a quiz or test to your articulate storyline uh, project using question banks and what the benefits are for using question banks in your articulate storyline project. Did you like this video? Don't forget to give a thumbs up below and subscribe to my YouTube channel to get practical tips every week about creating e-learning modules with articulate storyline. Until the next video.